Hey, it is your buddy, Peace and Harmony with you here today. Much love going out to all the beautiful empowered harmonizers. We're zooming in and focusing in today on a great viewer question. <clears throat> and that is, what is a good litmus test? How can you tell if you're becoming too codependent or you've got a problem with people pleasing? and you find yourself repeatedly surrounded by people who are narcissistic, psychopathic, people who have sort of personality issues, and you're finding out that you're suffering as a result. Um, and really, you must understand that a good litmus test is when other people's problems become your problem. Then you know that you're kind of getting involved in a codependent relationship, meaning that if other people's issues are always on your to-do list, what they need, lessons that they need to learn, uh, setting them straight, showing who's right, getting revenge, um, trying to become a counterforce to their force or always be in a, being in a reactive state around them then you're really in a disempowered state. Disempowered meaning not coming from a space of self-respect, self-validation, and self-valuation. Narcissists have a pathological sense of self-importance, meaning that they want to pull the reins in, they want to control others, and they really want to go for the win, go for being right, going for that counterforce, that juxtapositioning, meaning they're always trying to get into that comparison mode. Um, and holding you up to a role or a identity that is almost like a job description where you are required to take a back street, a back seat, a second fiddle, a lesser than, a toned down, a piped down, an unhappy position. And why do they do this? Because the narcissist wants to be able to control an outcome. An outcome meaning where they're perceived, looked at, or getting a result or an answer that is supremely important to them. And it might just be um, something that they want to pull up from the past. They might have, you know, uh, something that they have done to you that has worked in the past where they've gotten you feeling less than and they're trying to rekindle that fear, rekindle that sort of irrational tension um, and rekindle that unhappiness. So they get you looking at your worst, um, looking like you're losing your stuff, losing, you know, you're in a state of, of counter you're, you're becoming a counterforce to their force, and it's a very disempowered state because you're not centered and aligned with, within and your own values and your own respect. So they will then, you'll find then that you're recreating situations where once again, you're unhappy, you're over-obligating, you're not getting your needs met, you're not keeping your life a priority. Everybody else seems to have the priority over you and your time. It's very unhealthy. So you need to look at this and ask yourself, to what degree am I making other people's problems my problem? To what degree am I making other people's needs my need? It's your buddy, Peace and Harmony with you here today. I hope these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support. Peace out.